hope y'all hope you're doing well hope you're doing good first and foremost thank you for taking time out of your day to check out this video to come to my channel if you like this video please feel free to check out any other videos on my channel feel free to subscribe any support is really appreciated but at the end of the day what i appreciate most is you giving me your time again to watch this video thank you so much Deadpool and Wolverine finally comes out next week. This is a highly anticipated, a highly hyped movie. A lot of people are hoping it lives up to the hype. I'm hoping it lives up to the hype. For a lot of people, the MCU has been in a rut. They've been in a slump. I've enjoyed most of what they've done. Some stuff has been, meh. I've enjoyed most of it. So I think a lot of people are looking to Deadpool and Wolverine to kind of be a resurgent, a return to form for the MCU. I think there's a lot they can do with this movie. I think this movie has a lot of potential. And just a little bit we've seen, a lot of the trailers have been really good. They've been great. I really like Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. It's probably up there as far as one of my favorite MCU movies. At the same time, I can understand they didn't deliver as much as we thought they were with the madness in the multiverse. Deadpool can correct a lot of that. Deadpool can give us a lot of more madness. They can kind of correct some things in the multiverse. From the little bit we've seen, it seems like they're kind of trying to do certain things. We're not sure yet. Think Deadpool and Wolverine can deliver in a lot of the places where Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness failed and fell short. We already know that this movie is going to have some cameos. It's going to have some cameos from the Fox Studio movies. It's clear they're going to have some Deadpool variations. Like I said before, there's a lot of potential for what they can do with this movie. And I actually have a few dream, delusion cameos that I really want to see. Some may be more, you know, some may be more plausible, more possible. Others are extremely far-fetched. I feel like I've talked about this for almost a year on my channel i've talked about it in previous videos like one or two videos i've talked about it on other social media meteor man deadpool and wolverine is a perfect place to bring in meteor man marvel had a meteor man comic they did a few runs i think the golden lords appeared in a miles morales spider-man comic they can potentially bring in meteor man with deadpool and wolverine i think this would be the perfect spot and then maybe they could bring him back for secret wars possibly it's possible, just possible. While a Meteor Man cameo is a little bit far-fetched, a little bit Delulu, I think Blade makes perfect sense. I know Wesley Snipes has been a bit grumpy. He's been a bit upset about how Marvel has been handling Blade. But there have been whispers, there have been rumors, but I would love to see Wesley Snipes play a role in Deadpool and Wolverine. Even if it's like a small role, it's just a few scenes, I think he would be a great cameo for this movie. This is another one that is probably a little bit far-fetched. Michelle Yeoh's character from Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. It'd be a great way for Marvel to kind of pick at themselves the time when this movie came out and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness came out and people were putting this movie on a pedestal above Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. That'd be a great thing for them to do. Also, the Daniels have a connection with Disney now as they've directed an episode of a Star Wars show and there have been talks for them to take on other projects in Disney. Them putting Michelle Yeoh's character from Everything Everywhere All at Once or you can even put Stephanie's character from Everything Everywhere All at Once in Deadpool Wolverine. That would be an amazing cameo. But this video is titled Ryan Gosling Should Be in Deadpool and Wolverine. So why did I title it that? with Deadpool and Wolverine, Marvel and the MCU, Disney has the potential to make one of the funniest jokes of all time. One of the funniest jokes in the MCU and in Marvel and possibly one of the funniest jokes in comic book movie history. They should have Ryan Gosling cameo as Black Panther. T'Challa Black Panther, a variant. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Yes, I know. Send out the Dr. Umar signal. This is not good. I know, but this has been a running joke on the internet for so long that if they did it well enough, it could be one of the funniest jokes ever. I know there's been a lot of conversations around recast T'Challa. It's been a big topic of conversation. Again, this has also been a running joke for so long that I feel like it'd be a way to ease people into recasting T'Challa as well as kind of tipping the hat to the people that have been making this joke. If they do it well, it could work wonders. It could be awesome. They should do a cameo for Ryan Gosling as T'Challa in Deadpool and Wolverine. This show could be amazing. 
I'm pretty sure Dr. Umar would lose his mind. And y'all know, y'all seen on my channel, I'm a Dr. Umar supporter. But I would laugh at this. I would find this hilarious. This could really and truly be a great joke. A way to ease people, because you know this is going to be a one-off. We know there's going to be a lot of one-off stuffs. We know that there's going to be some stuff that happens with the Fox universe in this movie. They could play their cards well. Have Ryan Gosling beat T'Challa. Maybe Wakanda's in South Africa or something like that. Or Wakanda's been gentrified. And somehow Ryan Gosling has become the Black Panther. T'Challa. I'm telling you. If they did this joke, it could work wonders. Because they're poking light at themselves. And they're easing people back into the idea of recasting T'Challa. And even if they don't recast T'Challa. This is not a knock on Chadwick's legacy. Or the legacy of the Black Panther. This is in a Deadpool movie. A movie where they're going to clearly make a lot of jokes. They're going to poke fun at Disney and MCU. Done well. I think this could be great. Another cameo that I think could be really cool. Is if they have Deadpool and Wolverine. Or somebody falling into a universe. And they kind of fall across the new Fantastic Four. Maybe before they become the Fantastic Four. But they fall across the Marvel's first family in a different universe. Well, that movie is going to take place in a universe, in an alternate universe. That'd be another cool cameo. But hey, I'm excited for this movie. I think this movie is going to live up to the hype. I think it's going to be great. I think it has the potential to have a lot of really good cameos in it. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Who would you like to see make a cameo in it? We've heard rumors. We've heard whispers. We I don't know anything. This is just me speculating. But who would you like to see cameo in Deadpool and Wolverine? Thank you so much for taking time to check out this video. I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch it. Please feel free to comment. Again, let me know who you think would be a great cameo. Let me know your thoughts. Are you hyped for Deadpool and Wolverine? Are you hyped for the potential of Marvel moving forward, of the MCU moving forward? Let me know. And if you like this video, please feel free to check out other videos on my channel. Please feel free to subscribe. At the end of the day, I just appreciate your time and you giving me any of your time. Hope you continue to be good. Hope you continue to be blessed. Have a great one.